Good morning. Um, I'm very happy to be in uh, Dublin. Uh, I look very much forward to the meeting with uh, EU uh, defense ministers. Um, close cooperation and coordination between the EU and NATO is of utmost importance. Um, this year, uh, the European Union will discuss how to strengthen uh, European uh, defense. Um, from a NATO perspective, we, we, welcome, we welcome that. We welcome that there will be a European Council meeting in, in December. Um, and uh, during that process, it is of utmost importance to ensure close coordination between NATO and uh, the European Union. Um, I consider a strengthened European defense uh, to also be of benefit um, to NATO. A stronger European defense will also be a stronger European pillar uh, within NATO, provided that we avoid waste of taxpayers' money. There is only one set of taxpayers, one set of capabilities, so we should avoid duplication, we should avoid competition between the two organizations, we should ensure complementarity. Um, and in that respect, I really appreciate uh, your invitation uh, to me uh, to uh, participate in today's um, uh, meeting. Uh, furthermore, this is the first ever visit of a NATO Secretary General uh, to Ireland. So it's really an historic uh, event. Uh, many things have changed during uh, recent years. Uh, NATO today is a modern security organization and we appreciate very much our partnership uh, with Ireland. I'm here to thank Ireland for its contribution to UN-mandated NATO-led operations in Afghanistan and uh, Kosovo and I look very much forward to further developing our partnership in the coming years. Just to, to respond to that, say uh, very much welcome the presence of the Secretary General. Uh, we see our contribution uh, to peacekeeping missions and to conflict management as a crucial and central role uh, to our participation in the United Nations. The United Nations is dealing with issues on a regionalized basis. Uh, NATO plays a very important role in that context. Uh, we believe the EU as an entity should be more identifiable also in that role and we see our participation in NATO Partnership for Peace uh, as a very valuable and important uh, contribution that we can make uh, to peacekeeping. NATO is an important partner. It provides standards of excellence that are important with regard to uh, missions in which we can participate. Uh, and of course there are uh, connectivities and synergies between the role of NATO and European security and defense policy and uh, I think it's very important that we engage in an open dialogue and I particularly welcome uh, the fact that you're here with us today to participate in the discussions that we're going to have relating to uh, the regionalization of UN missions and how they can be best structured in a manner that ensures they're effective. There are synergies and compatibilities uh, and interactive op operational capacities uh, within of the European Union within Defence Forces so they can, uh, as was well put, uh, contribute to these missions in a manner that's cost effective, capability effective and uh, uh, where we uh, play complementary, complementary roles. So you're very welcome and uh, I'm looking forward to a very interesting discussion this morning.